What does one win mean to a man who's already won it all? He's looking to close it out with the perfect. Oh, he gets he it. Gets it. CEO 2019 champion, give it up for Nee! Snap! Nee's been playing well his entire life. Ever since he's touched a controller for Tekken, <laughs> he's been good at it. I didn't, he didn't even have a bottle. He had an arcade stick with a Korean lever in that bad boy playing Tekken. Nee has been playing Tekken for two decades and he's won dozens of tournaments at the highest level of play in one of the most competitive fighting games in the world. Now he's got the race for the LC. This could be it. be it. Need to close it out. Woo! JDCR loses to Rox's knee, and you see the pop off. Nee was already considered a god of Tekken. He had the reputation, the skill, and every win he needed to secure his legacy. Every win except one the Tekken 7 Evo World Championship. Nee had trophies, sure, but the big one eluded him. After Tekken 7 took the series to the top of the FGC, Nee just couldn't win the most important title in fighting games. It's German point for Sane right now. He's trying to become Evo champion. Oh, oh he, he stuffs does him it. with a counter hit jab. He does it, Sane. Evo 2016 Tekken 7 FR champion. JDC are on the stage to celebrate with him. He is fired up. In third, Nee. With the scene changing, new players coming in to challenge him, and Tekken 7 on the verge of fading away, it seemed like Nee's last chance would be his hardest fight yet. 첫번 세븐이 이제 이보가 시작된 게제 기억에 2015년 때부터라고 알고 있거든요. 그래서 벌써 이제 오랜 시간이 지났는데 그냥 제, 기, 제 예상에는 내년 정도에는 이제 철권 8이 나올 것 같아서 철권 세븐 이보 우승 타이틀이 이제 없었기 때문에 올해 어떻게든 뭔가 그 타이틀의 so, what would one more win mean? Well, to me, it meant everything. Everyone at home, we are watching a living legend. Me, one of the most storied players in Tekken competitive history. Hey folks, before we get into the video, I wanna ask you to please sub to the channel and turn on notifications if you haven't done it yet. If you want more FGC content like this video, then please let us know, do all of that, yell at us because we wanna bring you the best stories from the FGC. Also, if you haven't done it yet, head over to twitch.tv slash the score esports and give us a follow over there. We are going live all the time now and you don't wanna miss a stream. Okay, so you've already heard me say this, but it really can't be overstated. Me is the God of Tekken. He dedicated his life to the game from the moment he started playing it. It'd be hard to find anyone more devoted to the scene than him. A lot of people consider him to be like the best of all time, primarily due to his longevity, how long he's been around <clears throat> as one of the top players in the game. I don't think there's anybody that's been around as consistent and you know as strong as he has been over the last, what, 20 years? I don't think there's anybody that's matched that. But beyond his passion for the game, Ni nee is also incredible at it. His playstyle is extremely technical, yet flawless. And back in 2013, Nee showed America just how good he was by winning Tekken Tag Tournament 2 at EVO. What he wants right now. Oh, that's gonna it. be, oh, oh my god, oh this my is god. it. Bronson Trandon loses and gets second place. South Korea's Cafe It's Nee takes it. But Tekken in 2013 was a far cry from what it would become shortly after the release of Tekken 7. Tekken 7 changed the competitive Tekken landscape. The series was always popular casually, but travel was expensive and prize pools were relatively small, making international competition pretty rare. A few Korean and Japanese players came over to America every once in a while, but those instances were few and far between, until Tekken 7 came out. The game was a massive hit, and year after year, tournaments got bigger and bigger. International competition became common, and that meant players were constantly leveling up and raising the bar. But as a result of just how much better everyone was getting, Nee fell short at EVO. Can Nee make the comeback again? It's turning point for Sane right now. He's trying to become EVO champion. Oh, oh he, he stuffs does him it. with a counter hit jab. He does it, Sane. EVO 2016 Tekken 7 FR champion. JDC are on the stage to celebrate with him. 
Yeah. Oh, and that's there cool. it is. Was a tall order. The handshake. Wow, that's what I love to see, the sportsmanship. And, of course, the legend knee going yeah. home. Third place here at EVO 2017. Knee did well, but second and third place weren't good enough for the god of Tekken. So he kept grinding. Nii's mechanics were still top tier, and his character pool continued to grow, making him one of the scariest players in the game. By 2018, Nii was back to dominating the scene, and he kicked the year off with a big win at EVO Japan. It's gonna be very, very close though, and the Oki behind oh, him, the Sonic Bang! The Nii. second hit. <laughs> Nii is your champion for EVO Japan 2018. Nii took home eight trophies in 2018 but the EVO world title still eluded him. Due to schedule conflicts and the fact that EVO 2018 wasn't part of the Tekken World Tour that year, Nii decided to stay home with his family, missing out on another shot at a main stage victory. And sure, maybe he thought he'd have his shot next year, but unfortunately for Nii, in 2019, everything changed. Up until this point, South Korea was the most dominant force in Tekken. Sure, Europe and NA produced some brilliant talent over the years, but nothing compared to the likes of Chanel, JDCR, Saint, and of course, Nii. But in 2019, a region that wasn't on anyone's radar came out of nowhere to shock everyone. Oh boy. Oh god. And that's it! Wow! Nii beat... Nii gets beaten by Arsenal. Is beat by Arsenal 3-0. OUG tournament. Congratulations to Arsalan from Pakistan. Arsalan Ash was the underdog story of a lifetime. Pakistan wasn't known as a Tekken powerhouse region, but by winning EVO Japan, Arsalan put his country on the map. In the lead up to EVO 2019, Ni already had two run-ins with him, and the god of Tekken lost both times. And at EVO, Ni once again came up short. Oh! oh! They trade blows! Oh! Oh, man! That was a crazy trade. Arslan cementing his position as the best Tekken player on the planet. Untouchable! It was the third time Nii made top three at EVO for Tekken 7. And for a third time, he lost. Then COVID hit, so EVO disappeared, along with basically every other offline event, making these chances of winning it all in Mandalay Bay pretty slim. But despite the lack of tournaments and the fact that he was now in his mid-30s, Ni continued to do what he always did, grind Tekken. And then, in 2022, Ni finally got another chance. Evo was back, and he was ready. It's a very long time, 2019. In fact, there are not many events like this in Evo. So, it's a very long time. 반갑고 이제 이보에서만 느낄 수 있는 그 관중들의 뭐 소리나 이런 응원해 주는 그런 것들이 굉장히 좋았습니다. Despite being one of the oldest players in the bracket, Ni was playing some of the best Tekken the world had ever seen. Ni is a monster. Yeah, Ni is not scared. That Unrelenting. Is the, that is the crazy part. Against a Brian player where you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to get counter hit because every counter hit is a launcher. But in this sense, Nii does not care. Holy moly, Nii has come to play. Nii was playing like a man possessed, dominating his bracket all the way to top eight. But look at that though, Nii is straight away, not letting Kenya even breathe right now. That's 50% gone. Back for just stopping all of his offense. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. That's it. He's dead. He's dead. He has to. Oh, what? <laughs> what is happening right now? Dominance from me as he moves into tomorrow's top A at the arena on the winner's side, Evo 2022. Nee's victory wasn't guaranteed, though. Arslan was also in top A, along with his teammate and countryman, Khan. But before facing down the next generation of Tekken talent, Ni had to bring down his own countryman, Mo Il. 
Despite being a lesser known contender, Mo'il had been grinding in the scene for years and proved his worth on his way to top 8. But me didn't even break a sweat. It's the craziest best knee I've seen in a long time. Literally every top player he's played has looked bad again. He is stronger than ultra hard computer. Can't find any big opening. Knee's not letting him have nothing. Back tempo steps, and that will be enough. Knee. 2-0 over Moyle, he's going to the winner's final to face Khan. Ni's next hurdle was a Pakistani player, but this time, it wasn't Arslan Ash, it was Khan. Arslan once said that he was just one person in a deep community of Pakistani Tekken players, some of whom he considered better than him. And Khan was one of those players. This was Khan's first ever EVO, and he defeated Gen, Anakin, and Super Akuma, the best players from Japan, North America, and Europe, to get to me in the winner's finals. He was the Pakistani prodigy, a favorite to win it all. But Ni had the experience. Not only has he been playing for two decades, but he spent much of 2019 traveling to Pakistan to play Tekken. He practiced with and learned from the best of the best in that region. And he was ready to put that practice to the test. We got to talk about right now the legend, Ni, nee, fighting for his first Tekken 7 title here. Ni nee hasn't lost to anybody in this tournament. He's made everybody look bad. But neither has Khan. Khan no. has not lost to anyone here at EVO 2022. They're both here undefeated. All right, Khan, find the back of two. Just do it. Just believe. Max Bo to go. Max Bo to go off the step. He should be able to close it out. He it should be. There That'll it is. be it. There you go, Khan on the board, one apiece. I love the single back because he's trying to get knee throughout that parry again. Back he's tempo. So, how, how, how is he this good with that move? I don't how? know. But Khan right now, he's got rage in two meters with he, geese. He's going to do it again. He's, he's, he's aiming for it. Of course, and the pixel. The power, not going to happen today. Knee, two to one now in this winner's final. Needs one more to get to the grand final. Oh, he delayed yes, it. Yes. Nice punish, gets the knockdown, the follow-up as well. Got some extra damage. Count it down Ruken. four. Oh, he what dropped are it. you doing? That could have been the worst mistake we've seen in the set so That's far. That's huge, but he still has a big lead. Big lead and a bar meter. Knee, chipping back away at this lead, though. He could have had the winning mix-up, though. It could have been. It could have been, but it's not. Instead, Knee's almost got him. The counter. The wall's right there, though. He's going to live. Last chance, Khan. Down two. Knee is going to the grid. Finals of EVO 2022! It was close, but Ni nee prevailed, sending Khan down to losers. But Pakistan's hero bounced back, beating Arslan, the defending EVO champion, to earn his run back against Ni. Nee. The grand finals were set. On one side, an up-and-coming star from an up-and-coming region, looking to win his very first EVO and cement Pakistan as Tekken's greatest superpower. On the other side was Ni. Nee a 37-year-old veteran of the game, a man who's attended countless tournaments and was looking to do more than win for his country. Ni nee had his legacy on the line. Could he do it, or would it just be another second place? Here they are, setting up on the stage for our grand finals. Ni nee on the winner's side of the bracket, Khan fresh off of eliminating Arslan Ash. <laughs> if you're Khan, how are you going to approach here again with the deficit? He does have the meter, but it, does he want to use it this early? Does I mean, he want to close it out? It could oh, close it out! There's the use of it! The sidewall side Oh my gosh! Yo, 10 seconds, this is going to be so dangerous! Beautiful stuff! Yo, the conversion! Beautiful! Green black combo! Rage hard after! Here we go! Is it enough damage, Mark? Is it's, it enough? I can't tell! I don't know! It's going to be close! Is oh. it up? You thought you had me! You thought you had the lead! You ain't got nothing yet! And now Rage mode again for me. Khan has one bar to me to work with. Back tempo into nothing. Single jab, he's baiting it out. That's beautiful. See what he does. He has the This is huge. He might get the wall. He's gonna get the wall. The Blue stuff. He might be combo. dead. He might be hey, dead. Hey, he's oh. dead! Oh. It is tournament point oh. for me! 10 seconds about left right now. It's close! He's got one more bar! Knee can be champion in five seconds. He's got the lead. He's got the lead. Knee's going to do it in three, two, one. Knee is your Tekken 7 champion at EVO 2022. After years of coming up short, Knee finally earned his Tekken 7 EVO win. The money, the trophy, all of that didn't matter. Knee won something much bigger. 
up against younger talent, endless ambition, and relentless skill, Nii didn't just prove that he's the greatest Tekken player of all time. He proved that he is the one true god of Tekken, now and forever. He's kind of like in a spot where he's he's he set the bar and he's raising it for anyone. He's raising it not only for himself, but anyone that might come, you know, uh, 10, 20 years down the road. Kind of, he's the gold standard now. 100번 우승을 하는 건데 이제 거기에 이제 거의 가까워졌습니다. 그래서 이런 커리어는 이제 저의 개인적인 목표이면서 이제 동기 부여가 되기 때문에 앞으로도 계속 이제 이런 동기 부여를 파무면서 격투 게임 역사에 가장 우승을 많이 한 선수가 되고 싶습니다. After so many years, so many years of trying to win this tournament, he has finally done it. There is no no other player that is more deserving than he, and finally gets his Evo Championship for Tekken 7. Oh man! Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, then hit the sub button and ring the notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok.